All right, welcome to the very last Operation Snowdown Quest Challenge Guide. So as you can see, Snowmando says, how else are you going to make s'mores? And then he says to stoke a campfire, and you have to do this twice. So I'm going to test if you can stoke the same campfire twice, or if you have to go to two separate ones. And in addition, I'll show you a map with all the campfire locations in the game. So obviously, to stoke a campfire, you need some wood. So why not play Team Rumble, where you automatically get mats right away? All right, so like I said, you can land at any campfire you want, but I'm going to show you a very, very obscure one. It's all the way down here, just to the left of Camp Cod. So let's go down there. I'm sure nobody's going to land here. So here we go, dropping in the middle of nowhere. Again, we start with materials because we are in Team Rumble. There's the campfire right there. Let's see if we can stoke it twice and get credit two in one. So obviously the first light is free. That doesn't count. You have to stoke it for 30 wood. There's one. And then let's wait a few seconds and see if we can do it two times. There's another. Yes, that's all there is to it. Nice. So here's a map that shows every single campfire in the game. As you can see, there's tons of secluded ones. Pick one kind of like I did that's isolated and nobody should land with you. Do it in Team Rumble. Stoke the same campfire twice and you're good to go. So the reward for this is 10,000 XP and this reactive wrap called Confetti. So it's also animated but I'm 99% sure it's reactive as well. So I will do a how is it reactive on this in my next video. Stay tuned for that. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.